In 1824, the Marquis de Lafayette returned to the United States at the invitation of President James Monroe. He made a tour of all 24 states, during which huge crowds gathered to see him and he was fated as a hero. Lafayette visited Yorktown, as well as George Washington's grave at Mount Vernon and also gave a speech to the Virginia General Assembly in Richmond. While in Richmond, he abruptly ordered his carriage stopped when he saw James in the crowd, and rushed to embrace him. Sources differ as to whether James A. Lafayette died in Baltimore or New Kent County in 1830, the year he picked up his last pension payment, or in Virginia in 1832. During his lifetime, James's heroism was mentioned in a two-volume book of historical fiction by James E. Heath, Edge Hill, or The Family of the Fitzroyals. 1828, the French artist Jean-Baptiste Le Pound included a black servant in French livery in a portrait he painted of the Marquis de Lafayette, Indiana, 1785, which some think was intended to represent this man. John Blennerhassett Martin painted his portrait about the time of Heath's book, and distributed copies with the Marquis de Lafayette's testimony concerning his service. Some believe a figure of James Lafayette may be on the Lafayette Memorial dedicated in Prospect Park, in Brooklyn, New York in 1917. In 1997, Virginia erected a highway marker on the grounds of the historic New Kent County Courthouse to recognize his service.